In this video, we're going to talk about angles in parallel lines, and in particular, finding missing angles on parallel lines. So we're going to start off by looking at four rules. Our first is when we've got angles like this. So we've got our parallel lines here and here, and we've got a line going down and cutting and intersecting them both. Now we've created an angle using our top parallel line and the line intersecting them, and our bottom parallel line and the line intersecting them. So we've kind of created a Z shape. Now these angles are said to be alternate angles, and these are equal. Our next example is where we've got an angle created by our top parallel line and the line intersecting it, and then the other parallel line and the line intersecting it. Now this kind one, one kind of looks like an F, our F is upside down. And if you think about it, this top angle is being shifted downwards into our bottom angle there. So we call these corresponding angles and they are also equal. Our third rule is when we've got an angle created by one of our parallel lines and the one intersecting, and then the line intersecting and the parallel line like so, and it kind of creates sort of a C shape or a U shape, depending on which way you look at it. Now, unlike the top one, or the previous two examples, these two angles aren't equal. However, they add up to equal 180, and we call them co-interior angles, or sometimes shortened to just interior angles. Now our final example isn't on parallel lines, it's just any two lines intersecting each other. And we say that these two angles are vertically opposite and they're equal. So if we have an example, we have an example like this, hopefully, we can see straight away that we have an angle X and an angle of 70. We've created that Z shape. So we can say X equals 70 because of alternate angles. Now, if we have a question like this in an exam paper, you will need to state the reason. So for our example, it's alternate angles. And you'll need to state this to get full mark. It is not enough just to state the value. Now, our next example doesn't use just a single rule. And there's lots of ways to do this. My first step would just to be to put down some angles that we can work out that we can know. So I'm going to start by looking at this angle. Now if we can see, this is a straight line. So angles on a straight line add up to equal 180. So let's call this angle Y. So y plus 82 equals 180. By solving this, we can say y equals 98 degrees. And we need to state our reasons. So because of angles on a straight line. However, y is not the angle we want. We want x. We want x down here. But what we can notice is our y angle is this bit here. Our x is this bit here. So we've created like an f shape. But hopefully we know this, that this y and x are corresponding angles. So they are equal. We know what and why is, it's 98. 
So we know x also equals 98 because of corresponding angles. You must state the reason to get full mark.